Well, hello friends, this is Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. I finished the American campaign with music and I want to do the British campaign with uh, music. Rule the waves is the way to go with the British. So here we go. For generations, my family has sailed the seas. Since before my grandfather's time, it has been our destiny. And now, it is mine. One day I went sailing and found that my old boat had sprung a small leak. Repair cost minus 5%. Install and upgrades is cheaper, 5%. And side missions are plus 10% success, so I'll go with that one. I took a risk and went to sea anyway. I would fix the hole later. At 12, my uncle made me an apprentice aboard his ship. Standing between land and sea, I felt like a man for the first time. Anticipating a life on the open sea, I dreamed of battle and glory on the horizons. But life is difficult in the Royal Navy, far removed from dreams of glory. Remembering my father's lessons, I worked hard to impress the crew. In time, I was made a midshipman, beginning new responsibilities. Crew train is faster, plus 5%. Crew healing, 5% casualties replenish. Crew recruitment is cheaper. That's the one I usually go Morale with. Morale is important, so I focused on keeping the men's spirits high. We were forged together in the crucible of battle. For gallantry, I was recommended for promotion to the rank of lieutenant. But first, I must pass the lieutenant's exam. I was summoned before a board of captains. After a lengthy examination, they asked me what I thought the Navy's greatest strength was. Officer hiring is cheaper. Well, I have to buy officers, so I always do that one, but uh, let's see here. Uh, rapid technology advancement, 10%. That's nice. And 1% for reputation. I mean, 1-1 one, one for a battle. That's nice, but I'm going to start off with this one. The officers, I replied. No other Navy is better led. They nodded their heads in assent then asked me for my appraisal of the Navy's current strategic situation. Okay, C difficulty. If you take um, easy, the enemy's strength will be down 25%. And your rewards, money and stuff like that, will be up 15%. That's nice if you're struggling. Medium is for us who like a challenge and like to see the game and like to, you know, have a little, you know, difficulty and stuff, so. Um, but there's no advantage or penalty, so that, that, that one. And then if you really want a challenge, enemy strength is up 20% on hard and you're minus 25% on your money in rewards. So I just go in the middle here. Our fleet is admirable but our enemies are always looking for an advantage to use against us. An old, grey-haired captain asked me about my skill in the organization of amphibious operations. Okay, and this is for your uh, land battles, basically. Same thing. I mean, I just know with all the updates, and they recommend playing a new campaign, um, I know that they made things a lot harder, so... And when this game does come out for real, it's going to be really hard. So anyway, land difficulty is easy. Um, enemy strength down 25% and your rewards up 15%. Here is normal, like no advantage either way. And here, enemy strength is up 20% and your rewards are down 25%. So I just go in the middle. I've read many books about tactics and strategy, and I am confident in my ability to command. The board applauded my answers and took a moment to reach their consensus. Congratulations, sir, they said. 
You have just made lieutenant. Okay, so here I always take uh, Nelson, but and it's gonna be normal because that's the way I picked it. So I'm gonna go with uh, Jervis John. We're gonna give him a try. Okay, so, yeah, we know about the coastal guns we have to take. And we know about the city we have to take, or a fort, okay. Be aware of the enemy coastal guns, yep. And then they put us here, where we're already at a disadvantage, because um, they get to shoot twice at my, my ship before I can do anything with them. But this is a bigger ship, so I mean, unless they get a lucky strike here, um, get that wind. Try to see if I can get this one right away. It may not work, but because they made the boarding harder now in this game, you have to line it up perfectly in order to get it to happen, and even then, it's not a guarantee. So, but I gotta try. Man, this is crazy. Oh good, we are boarding. Oh, this guy's wounded. So I'll put him on that ship. Okay, so I did get one, okay. Of course, you know, I wanted to get them right away, so that I didn't want, didn't want to damage the ship, but... So now, do I have enough to try to get that one? I'm not sure.
As soon as the Richmond gets wind, maybe I can turn this one now this way to at least get go with the wind a little bit. Now these guys, oh, they're just coming onto the scene. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna turn because it, look at the way the wind's going. It's gonna, if we get way down here, it's gonna be so hard to get back. So that, that, yeah, I'm gonna have to let that one go. We don't wanna um, let him come around and come back at us because that's eventually what they'll do, and they wanna probably try to get these guys. I'm going to send them over there. I think I'm going to take this ship I think I want to put it right there Get too close to this your ship will end up sinking even though it's you know it's not in deep water <laughs> but you'll end up losing the ship So yeah so as I thought he would come to us, so... Uh-oh, I gotta put him on anchor, otherwise, uh, yeah, I see, I was not paying attention to it. Dang it. Because if he gets stuck, he'll sink. I, I hope he can just stay right there and not sink. Like, when you do stuff like that, you gotta pay attention. Okay, so I think we're boarding. Now this is dangerous here because if he were to take this, I would lose this uh, mission. Because you cannot lose the Richmond. So this was taking a chance, but 
we got it. It's badly damaged. I mean, I, I didn't really want these ships in bad damage, but it's the only way I could do it. All right, well, I gave them... Hopefully they can move. If not, I'll just have to keep it that way, I guess. Okay, so he's gonna come out, I guess. Ah, we can see they got... Like I said, I was hoping he can anchor and not have to be keep moving around. But at least he came out of there, because like I said, if he got stuck in there, he could be, they could sink the ship. That's the way this game works sometimes. At least they are moving. Um, if we can get to there, then that'll be okay. We don't want the wind to push him over here because these coastal guns will hit him. So, anyways, I think that he's gonna anchor, uh, and I'm gonna make sure he anchors. Yes, this one can anchor there. Yeah, so with the Gallagher right there. Wait, right, can I stop you? Okay. Just tilt them just a little bit more, see. Ah, at least those ships are moving. Nice. I'm going to start uh, deploying the units. I think I can take some out of here. So the rich men, I think, I can take some out of there.
And we just gotta get the sandwich in position. Sandwich. How about some toast and some cheese and some ham and lettuce and tomato? Does that sound good? Alright. The Galagov has been firing on them. Huh. All right, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and deploy. Okay, I think I ought to shut the guns off. I don't want to... I don't want you guys shooting, you're supposed to be just um, meleeing them. Jeez. Okay. Here's John Paul. Oh, oh no, John. Jeeves. Yeah, Jeeves John. Okay, excuse me. <laughs>
Okay, so that one did surrender. Alright, so it looks like we have 25, 27, and 24 prisoners. Okay, I'm just going to put the smaller units that I have over here to hold the fort in case somebody comes down. Figure 47, 47, that ought to be enough to hold this if they come. And then I could also probably uh, move this ship right here maybe. Maybe he'll be able to fire if anybody does come down. So yeah, I'll go ahead and try that. We've got two hours and 56 minutes to get this done, so... He's gonna go there, he goes there... That should be enough, I think. Um, now, from what I know about this battle, folks, is if you waste too much time to try to take this, they're going to have uh, reinforcements coming down this way. And they have these... They usually have two units over here that are going to come over here, but I in intercepted one of them here. got to watch out for this unit sometimes if I just had the cannon moving up here he'd probably come over and take him out so all right I think that's gonna be that
while those guys get in place, we'll just check what's left. Put some there. Put the cannon guns here, the coastal guns. Another unit here, and there's one hiding in here. I think we already took out all the other ones that were around. And the one that came over here, he went up here and then we took him out. So we have about 20, 40, about 60, 70, 70 prisoners. Now I'm just going to wait for the field battery to get in place. Like I said, it, they give us two hours and 35 minutes, so I'm thinking maybe if you spent a lot more time out here fighting these two ships, you know, you'd still have plenty of time. But I would, I would bet if it gets down to like one something, I, I'd bet you more and more reinforcements would start coming. So I think you have to do this as quick as possible, that way you have ample amount of time before reinforcements come. Like I said, um, with all the updates and they said to start a new campaign, they recommended it. I would say that, you know, they definitely made things a lot harder, but... And with this, uh, this gun that I captured... I was told that um, if you keep this unit, when the, when the timer ends, you won't get this unit at all. Now look at he just wiped that, that unit right out. I'm going to see if he can just last this one for a little while while I just mentioned this like in the, in the dev they need to fix these things because when I first played this game you captured this unit with a marine unit you got to keep the whole unit well, they changed it now where if you if I keep this unit as it is when this timer ends I won't get any of the guns I have to abandon this unit and I might only get one gun out of all these guns. And uh, that's just not fair, I think. Because if we get to possess this in our, now our, you know, Navy, we should be able to keep it. That's my opinion, and I'm just letting you know about that. So now, like I said, I could, I think I got everybody in place. Move the cannon right there. Move this guy right there. This unit can come there. This one can get over here. This one can get over here. Right there. And this one right out there. Oh, he wants to engage us. Ah, oh, they like to charge. Okay. Well, they want to charge us, we'll charge them.
Okay, so I'm going to disembark the cannon anyway, because if he shoots, he's going to kill my guys, too. So this is what I'm talking about. You have to abandon this in order to get, you know, a percentage. And I'm going to show you at the end of this what percentage that I may or may not get. So we've got a hundred prisoners right here. We've got forty-eight prisoners right there. Oh, and we got somebody right here. Well, let's go see if we can, you know, get another unit. Yep, got one, 34. Alright, so we got about, you know, 20, 40, 60 prisoners here. 60. Another 30, so that's almost 100. That's 100. 200 so roughly about 250 prisoners it looks like now I'm gonna see if the game reports it correctly see if oh no, unless that's still a bug but as you can see I I got off these guns so I'm gonna see if it's gonna give me what percentage or what it's gonna give me but I just want to show you there's five minutes to go and I captured their two ships though they're badly damaged. Uh, anything else I can summarize? Um, I don't even know if there's any units left. There might be one hiding somewhere in here. And that's why I left people here, because otherwise they'd come down and grab this, and they'd probably take this away from me. So I'm just gonna, like I said, for purposes of... Alright, it looks like, let's see now. Let's see what the results will be. See how much of it is correct. Okay, so here we go. I had five ships, 58 guns, 1,084. They had two ships, 56 guns, 260. Zero sunk, two captured, so I got them. And 260 crew they lost. They had 840 infantry and 13 guns. 394 infantry losses. Okay, so 13 guns are losses. And see, now look, see how this is? The game does not, uh, it's still as a bug or a glitch or whatever this does not record everything because I've got 60 some odd 20 20 20 60 plus by four and whatever it's probably that 70 guys there there was a hundred over here like there was 250 over here so you know um, it's only showing 106 missing so it's not correct now, as far as the 13 guns, I don't know if that is these guns plus the guns that I captured, and I had to give up them. Now, let me see the goals. At least these are green. Sometimes they're red. So they fix that on this particular battle. Here's this report. I guess, you know, I'm not going to pick at that. So 
offices? Well, we don't know because we didn't own any of these. This was all given to us to fight this battle. So that's probably why they're not reporting any officers. Because I don't have any, you know, other than the officer. Okay, and yeah, and look. They give me one four-pound army brass cannon. One. For, you know, for the statistics, 13 were captured or lost to them. And they only give me one. Now, if I kept the unit on this, this, this gun here, it would be zero. It would be none here. And um, so they need to do something about that. Because, you know, I just dis disagree with it. You're just getting my personal feelings on it. That if I capture 13 guns, then I should get them all. That's the way I feel about it. But anyways, okay, sorry. Enough of my rant. I'm sure you're not watching this <laughs> just to hear me rant about it. But, hey, it's a victory, so I'll take it. And I have one gun, so hey, hey, hey. This is just telling us about the rich men, how we can't lose the rich men, and the lieutenant was promoted. Good for him. All right, well, I'm going to save it. Because, you know, whatever, it is a victory, right? All right, just gonna call it after rule the waves. All right, so we only got 20,000. Okay, so here's something that I will point out. Notice how that report only showed like a hundred prisoners instead of like the 250 plus the 70 that I had or whatever it was. Do you notice how that report didn't show it? But here, look, they put 300 here. Now I'm wondering if when I took those ships over, the two ship o ships that I took over is where this, this, this 300 came from and the 100 from the report get added in to make it 302. So so the way I look at that is the game isn't reporting the correct amount of the nearly 300 that I captured, but it is calculating in those two ships that I took over where that's why they're giving me this 300 count for the thing. So I just wish that they could fix all that kind of stuff. But anyways, and of course this is going to tell you about the Richmond, how it we got the Mercedes and the Gallagher out of the battle and stuff, and we we were in the mouth of the San Juan River and all that stuff, and we took the fort and we got that. So that, it's just the European, the Europe Herald, telling you about that. I'm just going to show the technology. All right, well, um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know about, these are gonna take, like, I, I don't think I want this technology yet. I don't wanna spend money on the tech. Now these two ships were damaged. How much is it gonna cost me? Oh, I can only unlock one of them. Okay, so the um, Galaga has 986. All right, so I will unlock the Galaga. Oh, and before I repair it, I 
can go one there for repair. I think I can go... Maybe I'll put two into mission rewards so I can get more money. All right, so we need repairs. And I'll have to decide on the Mercedes what to do with that one later. Because I don't have enough to unlock it. So now with 19,000, that's why I'm not going to buy the tech. Can I do everything that I need to do to get these ships up and running? Let's see about the weapons. Yeah, we don't have a lot of weapons, so I might not even be able to... Let me cancel that for now. Now, they gave us this ship here. This is ha this has Jervis John on it, so he's our um, at, you know our head of the whole navy. So I will give him an officer. And I could get him up to that for just sixteen twenty two, so that'll be good. I'll have him at one seventy. Now, I don't know if I could afford... Okay, so for 2,200, I can put a boarding kit along with him, and, and he can still keep his crew. And his speed is 11 knots, so that's pretty good, I think. And I still got 16,000. So now I think I'm going to see if I can get the Galga up and running. Now this one, I'm going to give them the Sea Service Musket and Bayonet. I have 300 of them. And I can get them up to 200. Wow. And it's going to cost 5,000. So let me see if I could put a boarding kit on this ship too. Yeah, I could. But, oh, it's going to cost 3,000. You know, it's funny. When I first did the other ship, it only cost 22,000 something. Now it's, now it's costing um, 3,150. I wonder why. Does it cost each each time you put it on? It costs even more. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna do this. I mean, it's gonna cost fifty-five, but I'll have a, a full ship. Yeah, that's a six-rate sloop of war. So, and if I get more uh, rep and stuff later on, I can get the Mercedes online. Or they want me to sell it for three rep. Uh, I don't think I want to do that. So okay, so the only, the only two things left to do with the seven thousand is they gave me this ship too. So um, I should put a crew on it.
In these seven rate sloops, you can only put 64 guys on it. So that I will do. And I still got 6,000, nice. So the only thing else I can do is check this ship out for a minute. I got the land pattern. Do I have any of those? Yeah, look, I have 206 of those in the armory. So I could put... So what if I say that and I... Okay, so if I hit reserves, it keeps the rank. If I let it go, it drops the rank off, like the all this. So if I can afford it, which I can, it's only 1365 to get these to one, 150. And I'll do the same for this one. And this one can get to 150. Hey, and he can get a he can get a he can get a promotion, like a I mean a, a perk. Nice. Well, because they like the melee, they need the morale. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So nice, he got one. I wonder how this guy. Oh, him. Nope, he didn't. It's funny how come this guy got one. Hmm, interesting. I got 3,000 left. We still got a little bit of room on the ship. Can I give him the 175? And could I get him to 175 without going overweight? Yeah, I can. All right, perfect. That's 370 out of 390. All right, so I got these guys to 175, each, 175 each, and I still got 2,000. So not not I'm, I don't think I'm doing too bad. And on the Galgar, I have a boarding kit. And on the Ferret, I have a boarding kit. And on this little ship, um, they gave it to me for free along with the Asari and the Ferret. But um, on this little ship, I would like to put um, explosive barrels, but we don't have the technology yet. So I, I can't do that. But anyways, okay, I'm going to say, look, uh, that's my that's my Navy now starting out. So I have um, three warships, and then I have this warship here. That would be a trophy when I'll unlock it. So I think that is good. I, I like to put after camp, so that way I know I, I did all that. So that way I'll be ready for the next battle. So as you can see, this is the way it is. And I want to thank you for watching. And I'm going to call it a day. So everybody, adios amigos. This is Jeff signing out.